let's move on to fractions. Now, if you didn't get a good grasp of rounding and estimation, please do visit the topic on rounding and estimation. With fractions, we're going to be working with the structure of fractions, cancelling fractions, adding and subtracting fractions, and multiplying and dividing fractions. So the structure of fractions. If we work with this example here, two-thirds, the two is referred to as the numerator, and the three is referred to as the denominator. Let's look a bit closer at what the denominator and numerator actually mean. We have this pizza here. We have noticed that it has been split into three sections. Those three sections are referred to as the denominator. So three goes on the bottom. Someone eats one of the slices, so we're left with two slices. That refers to the numerator. Now let's move on to cancelling fractions down. Cancelling fractions down can be made simple if you just know the highest common factor between the numerator and the denominator. Let's work with this example here. 15 over 20. The highest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5. So we know that we can cancel the 15 down by 5 and the 20 down by 5. If we divide the 15 down by 5, we get to 3. And the 20 by 5 gives us 4. So our new fraction is 3 quarters. This is the case with all examples. If you just write down the factors of each number, the numerator and the denominator, and then find the highest common factor between them, then you know that you can divide the numerator and the denominator by this number, and it will result in the lowest possible form of the fraction. Let's move on to adding fractions. We'll work through this example. Two thirds plus one quarter. Now the first thing that we have to do is work out the lowest common multiple between the two denominators. Our two denominators are 3 and 4, and our lowest common multiple between them is 12. So let's put 12 as our new denominator. Now what we need to do is see how many times 3 goes into 12. And 3 goes into 12 4 times. So we then have to multiply that 4 by the 2 that we have here. So 4 times 2 is 8. Replace that numerator here. We're adding the two fractions, so put a small adding symbol here. Now we look at the next fraction, 1 quarter. How many times does this 4 go into 12? It goes into 12 3 times. 3 times by 1 is 3, so we put a 3 here next to the adding symbol. Now we have the answer, and we can simplify. With subtracting fractions, it's exactly the same method we find the lowest common multiple between the two denominators, and then work as previously before, except utilising the minus sign instead. Multiplying and dividing fractions. With multiplying fractions, some can say that it's slightly simpler than adding and subtracting fractions. So let's take this example here. When you have a multiply sign, you can go with your temptation of just multiplying the two numerators together and the two denominators together. So let's see what happens when we use this example here. We get this answer. Now, 15 over 20 can become cancelled down. Remember, before we said that common factor of both of them was 5. Well, let's divide the numerator and the denominator here by 5. So we get 15 over 20, which is equal to 3 quarters. And finally, dividing fractions. Let's work this example here. Now there's two steps that you need to remember with dividing fractions. The division sign changes into a multiply sign and the second fraction flips and we can carry on and multiply the numerators and the denominators as we did before. Now you have a good grasp of fractions, let's move on to our next topic, algebra.